Yeah. You know, I always uh, call myself a uh, a sophisticated street nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, like, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be showing my age, but Bootleg from Dayton Family had a song called Sophisticated Thugs. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I went. Oh, man. This song uh, by an artist from Chicago named D.A. Smart. It's called Walk With Me. And he's just, you know, just letting me know, like, every neighborhood, all the different organizations and shit. Wow. Man. And, uh, one part of the song, he said, they be busting at stop signs. Over 2,000 police still inadequate to stop crime. And it's like, damn. Right. Who uses the word inadequate? <laughs> inadequate. You hear me? In the <laughs> and to be able to make it sound so gangster. Yeah. yeah. I remember Dayton family too, bro. They, 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 they like, was, they yeah, was big. Some sophisticated thugs, man. You know, I don't, they I don't, from Chicago, Dayton, man. Nah, they uh, from Flint. Uh, but I'm just they saying, from Flint. Boot, yeah, Bootleg had a song called "Sophisticated Thugs," so it was like, I, like, I, like, I, like I, I swear, I, said, I thought I like they were educated gangster shit. I thought they was from Indiana. We said they from Flint, Michigan. Man, yeah, yeah, damn, yeah, nah. I wonder what the Dayton family doing nowadays. I ain't See, heard. I did an interview with them on Midwest Mixtapes Radio. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, they, man, that's what's up. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, actually, I'm heading up there in uh, July for the Flint, Flint Music Awards. Flint Music Awards, man. Man, what's up with this uh, getting this on off the porch, man? What happened, bro? Man, all right, this little uh, DJ buddy from Oakland. Nah, he's from Tulsa. In Tulsa. I'm not going to even say his name, man. He ain't worth saying the name, but dude was on there talking about all the mixtape sites. Talking about mixtapes and dead, this and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why we sit here and you know just talking about Spinnerella about to be closed down and shit. But he was just saying like he wasn't saying my shit. He didn't say nothing about me mm -hmm. until the very fucking end. And it was like one of the backhanded ass compliments. And I'm not the type of person to take that shit. Right, right. Like, like, like I'm a calm, cool person, man. But. Keep my motherfucking name out your mouth, man. That's right. Especially on some unnecessary shit. Especially if I've done nothing but treated you nice and treated you with the respect when I see you and shit. Don't do that shit. And then, you know, for off the porch to egg that shit on, that unnecessary shit, them little white dudes and shit, man, they don't do. What the fuck do they do for the black culture other than take their money? Now, if they do do something, I don't know nothing about, but they do, that's what's up. But, right. nah. Fuck all that. Keep I, my motherfucking name out your mouth. I know that's right. Y'all do not know me. <laughs> I, know I don't it. say nothing about you. And it's just even, this is what pisses me off more about it, is the fact that any blogs that have the nerve from them day and age, because you talk about off the porch is done by Dirty Glove Bastards. Mm -hmm. They have a blog site. Right. A blog site is when they get to write up articles and reviews and all that shit, alright? All right. All right. So... These blogs back in the days, they wouldn't have had shit to post if it wasn't for these mixtape sites. True. Mixtapes is the shit, boy. Where, was, where were the distribution, man? Right. Right. Like, how are you going to disrespect the fucking people that help blow what the fuck you're doing, man? Man, people was running to get mixtapes before they was getting albums at a certain point in time. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne, as we know, was the mixtape king. One, one of the kings. Shit. Right. He had drought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, more, more than like, though, at the end of the day, man, this is, that was like unnecessary shit right. to just egg that shit on, man. You got enough of that bullshit in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, you know? yeah. The fact that you got these blogs literally screenshotting and screen videoing these guys doing lives and shit, you right. know? Right. Oh, he said this about so and so. It's like, damn, that's some girl gossipy ass shit. Right. right. Absolutely. Like, what the fuck? Hey, what happened to men, man? Let's act like men again, please. Uh, I know that's right. You uh, you worked with Dirty Nt? Yeah, uh, Ali. Ali was my uh, business partner in Midwest Mixtapes at one point. All right, all right. Uh, that man actually he put me up on a lot of game. He showed me uh a lot of the shit from a major label standpoint. And what they're looking for, mm -hmm. and how to act towards certain shit. Right. Uh, they should. He, he really kind of showed me how to make Midwest mixtapes more a business. Okay. And just like I was just using it like shit. It's another way to get some money. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? He showed me early how to 
you know, switch it up, like, different styles as far as, like, with the allocation of the money and that type of shit. Man, that's dope. That's, that, nah, that's dope. That's right. Yeah, nah, I was around, uh, you can ask the you can ask the gentleman himself, Lil, Lil St. Louis, man, he blew up off. That's my bro. I was doing it. I was doing for him and shit. Yeah, yeah. He's uh he definitely one of our VIPs of uh, Los St. Louis, man. We've been trying to get him on the show, but you know he's still kind of recovering from his accident, mm -hmm. so he just we just waiting for him to get his, you know what I'm saying, his feeling right. And uh we we patient with him, you know what I'm saying? We like go take your time, man, whenever you feel like it, man. Mm -hmm. Come, you know what I'm saying? Cuz they definitely missing him out here, man. I I, I believe that he can still uh Come back and do some great things in the, uh, in oh, the game. Man. He got some classics too, bro. I'm, 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 I'll just put it like this, man. I'm here in the industry with his rap style and a lot of these artists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just seen that too on. It was somebody that uh, had a YouTube channel and they were saying something about his style and how somebody was mimicking it. It was. I, I gotta go back and take a look at it, but I can. I can hear that. I can hear his style and a lot of. A lot of new new age artists, and definitely. You also did uh, some work with Ozone Magazine too. Yeah, uh, I started working with them. I want to say it was about oh three oh four. I want to say it was like maybe the same month or the month after uh, Guccio and the All Stars were on the cover. Mm. I want to say this was like oh three oh four. Okay, that's early in the game. Yeah. Like, I didn't meet anybody here in St. Louis for real until like 05, 06. I was mm. in Chicago like that. All right. I was running the business out there in Chicago. Yeah. Wow, that's dope. <laughs> that's hella dope, man. To be 02, 03, 04, before the, uh, the internet wave. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude. We, I came in the business right when the internet, like, I saw this shit coming. You did? Yeah, I was on message boards back in like 98, 99. Yeah, damn. damn. <laughs> yeah, like damn. I said, man, I'm older than I look. Yeah. <laughs> but, but nah, I, just, I never saw a computer and didn't know what the internet was until I got to college. All right, all right. You know, boom, I went, I, I, like I said, I like I like underground shit. Right, right. And I was looking up this underground artist, came across a message board that they these people created just for him. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of the biggest sites right now on the West Coast. It's called sickness.net. Sound like some Brother Lynch shit. <laughs> yeah, it's actually for Brother Lynch. Ah, yeah, that's my yeah. boy. Yeah. Actually, actually, I got an interview with Brother Lynch when I was up there at the radio station, 89.5. Yeah. Yeah. I never released it. It was just something more of a man, personal he, thing. Man, he, is still, <laughs> he is still one of my top 10 favorite artists. Like, he is, uh, man, dude. Like, is, still cut on some of this cuz. Yeah, yeah. I just watched the interview with him uh, with a guy out in Cali, and uh, he, I think he's still signed to Strange Music. I think he's still rapping with uh, Tech Nine and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Brother Lynch is a he a legend. He go down. I feel like he he was underrated and he didn't get all the publicity and stuff that he should have gotten. Right. And maybe just because of bad, you know, deals signed, or maybe just because of his style. Because you know he had that rip gut, you know, the, baby the, the, the stuff. Sick, you know, the, the sickness. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man. When he came to St. Louis, man, I was. There. <laughs> I was there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was there. How you uh what was it like working with uh Freddie Gibbs? Man, I met Freddie very early in his career, like his first mixtapes. Uh like I said, I was in Chicago. I started going out to Chicago late 03. Mm -hmm. That's when the group I put out. We was getting a lot of traction out of Chicago as far as like fans on the internet. Mm -hmm. And that was the beautiful thing about when the internet first started. There wasn't no artists on the net. It was just fans. And just fans. Just fans. So we really got to, I really got to see what, how people, you know, what people actually like. Or how they go about even purchasing music or makes them want to go, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, we ended up in Chicago. Uh, ended up being around uh, people like Crucial Conflict. Uh, do or Die, Cycle Drama, Triple Darkness. Like a lot of those guys from the West Side, they really took me under their wing. 